The United Nations has closed its military liaison office in the contested Western Sahara and withdrawn dozens of personnel from its mission there, known as MINURSO, as the spat between Morocco and the UN escalates. The expulsion of personnel comes as part of a Morocco backlash against the UN Secretary General for his use of the term occupation during a recent visit. UN correspondent Lilling Tan reports. The dispute between the UN Secretary General and Morocco continues without an end in sight. The United Nations said Rabat's expulsion of UN personnel is contrary to the country's agreement with the United Nations. Under the deal for the UN mission in Western Sahara set up in 1991, Morocco was to ensure that members of the mission can move freely in and out of the UN mission compound. But now the UN military liaison office is closed. More than 80 UN civilian staff have reportedly been expelled from what was a 500-strong mission, and Morocco is cutting $3 million in funding. As long as the mission has been there, there's been a lessening of tensions. Right now, that system is in peril, and we cannot allow that to happen, and we cannot allow the principle to be upheld that member states can arbitrarily go against their status of missions agreements and their commitments under the United Nations Charter. The dispute was sparked this month after Secretary General Ban Ki-moon referred to Morocco's presence in Western Sahara as an occupation following his visit to Sahrawi refugee camps in Algeria. Ban's comment angered Moroccan officials who criticized the Secretary General for having lost his neutrality over the contested region. It also sparked a massive demonstration in the capital. Now, Morocco wants the Secretary General to retract the comment, but Ban is not backing down. Adding to the dispute is a lack of a clear, unified position from the UN Security Council. Council members seem to be divided over whether to officially support the Secretary General's position. Members including Morocco's longtime ally France, along with Egypt, Senegal, Spain, as well as Japan. And the United States has also announced its support for Morocco's autonomy plan for the region. Ban Ki-moon wants Security Council backing, but he hasn't received it. And his deputy spokesperson, Farhan Haq, in a comment seemingly directed at the Security Council, warned that over time a lack of statement can be interpreted as a statement on its own. Lilingtan, CCTV, New York.